Help could be coming to your neighborhood. We're taking a closer look at a program that's back underway here in Terre Haute. The goal? To get rid of those dilapidated homes that have become eyesores. As New Sands Lindsay Yates tells us, it's a fresh way to get a new start from old problems. Unsafe, unsightly, and unlivable. Maybe people going in, maybe possibly setting a fire, doing drugs, that kind of thing. Worries surrounding this vacant home on South 17th Street. It's plagued the neighborhood for several years. When I see one deteriorating to the point to where it's got a condemned sign on it tells me that someone didn't care. And forced to look at this mess, the Binions, they live just a couple of doors down. The neighborhood has gotten better since we've lived here, but with the empty houses and stuff, it doesn't help. 26 houses have already been demolished, and this one on South 17th Street is still standing, but not for long. This as the city is ready for round two of the blight elimination program. We have funds that were that are remaining that we have to de-obligate and then identify other properties to add into the system to utilize the remainder of those funds. Using the $1.5 million, Phil Kessner with the Terre Haute Department of Redevelopment says 27 additional homes are approved for demolition. There are a number of homes that will over the next several weeks you'll begin to see activity on and seeing them removed. And so far neighbors like the Binions are pleased with the progress. It can be nothing but an improvement in everybody's uh, mental state as well as their uh, happiness with being in the neighborhood. Uh, yes, I think it's a great improvement. In Terre Haute with Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta, Lindsay Yates, News 10. Once round two is complete, 63 houses will have been torn down. The city is optimistic the program will encourage future investment by raising property values.